Ladies and gentlemen, I invite you to remain standing and join Michelle Veth in the salute to our American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Remain standing, please, as Benjelis Gutierrez, class of 2018, sings our national anthem. Hello? Hello? Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early So proudly we've held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose but stripes and bright stars through the perilous war for the ramparts we've watched were so gallant. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does the star spangled You may be seated. <laughs> Mayor Petty, School Committee Comparetto, Superintendent Benenda, Mr. Looney, Dr. Montague, Councilwoman Rivera, Representative Keefe, distinguished faculty, family, friends, and graduates, it is my honor to welcome you to the Claremont Academy commencement exercises honoring the class of 2018. It is quite an honor to be here tonight sharing the stage with such a special group of people. I first met them in 2012 as new seventh graders to Claremont Academy. When I spoke to them as a group, I told them that we shared something in common. I was at that time new to Claremont as well. I charged them with helping me build a school in which we could all have pride. I told them that they would be my legacy class, that they would help me and the teachers reframe and reconstitute the culture of Claremont Academy. Since that time, this remarkable group of young people have made a strong and lasting impact on me and the school we leave behind. I have built so many relationships over my two decades of service in this neighborhood, I am so lucky to have been a part of so many wonderful lives. In fact, we are graduating one senior tonight who represents a family from which I have had at least one sibling in school for the entire 20 year arc of my career. From Tiffany to Katie to Antonio and now Miranda, that's pretty cool. This class, the class of 2018, has been remarkable for sure. They have had our highest MCAS scores in our school's history. More students from this class have taken college courses than any other group. This class has some of the most prestigious college acceptances to date. They have also set a, a standard for character and integrity. This class helped to create and sustain our peer mediation program. This class led the way in community service and with prowess on the athletic fields of competition. I am so, so happy to say that the class of 2018 has lived up to the challenge I set for them almost six years ago. 
There have been some bumps along the way, like the time I had to have the phrase, quote, you are not allowed to be in the building after school translated into 12 different languages. <laughs> and I'm not kidding, I had 12 teachers who were fluent in another language repeat that phrase to Delano since he was not understanding it in English. <laughs> or when Ms. Pouliot and Ms. Siami had to create senior patrol to make sure seniors were completing their graduation requirements and not loitering in the hallway, this earned these two ladies a t-shirt with the name, hashtag she's so annoying. <laughs> in the end, I am so immensely proud of who they've become, the small role I have had the chance to play in that growth, and the remarkable and special school they have helped us create. Just like them, I am planning my own departure from Claremont. While this makes me sad, I will have with me only the happiest of memories. For me, these students are like my own children. I love them, I want the best for them, and I won't accept anything but their very best. So as a father would, I want to leave you with some advice. Recently I was reading an article written by Jenna Pincott and explains how to overcome some inaccurate biases that we sometimes have in our lives. I thought it was perfect advice for graduates as they get ready to part this phase of their life for another. Here are the 10 things you can do to help yourself grow in the time ahead. One, understand that not everything that helps you or that happens to you is about you. Too much energy is lost dealing with insults and issues that have nothing to do with you in the first place. Two, worry less about what others think of you. Most people don't care anyway. Three. Realize that you don't have to act the way you feel. Four, reframe and manage disappointment and adversity. Hamlet said, there is nothing good or bad, but thinking makes it so. Solicit honest feedback. Ask, what am I doing that I want to keep? What should I stop? Six, stay true to your own values despite what others expect. People value authenticity and integrity. Seven. Be open to revising your own thinking. Sometimes we call people flip-floppers if they change their mind on something. That's not a weakness. Instead, it's a strength. Eight, find ways to tackle tasks you want to avoid. It's often in these tasks that you have the best growth. Nine, zone in on your purpose in a zoned out world. Mark Twain said, the two most important days of your life are the day you are born and the day you discover why. Ten. Tolerate ambiguity, be flexible, and realize that most problems and issues have no true answer, but rather are a more subtle shade of gray. It has been a true honor of my life to be principal of Claremont Academy. It has been not only a job, but a calling. Being Claremont's principal has been a large part of who and what I am, and I will remember you all fondly always. Walt Whitman, who was born on this day 199 years ago, wrote in the preface of his great work, Leaves of Grass, re-examine all you have been told in school or church or in any book and dismiss whatever insults your own soul. In your very flesh shall be a great poem and have the richest fluency, not only in its words, but in the silent lines of its lips and face and between the lashes of your eyes and in every motion and joint of your body. Good luck to you all, friends. My eternal thanks. It is my honor to now recognize Michelle Veth, who is the senior class president for her remarks. Michelle? Thank you, Mr. Hall. Good evening. Good evening, school board members, staff, families, and class of 2018. Today, I am very honored to be speaking as president of Claremont Academy's Legacy Class, a class that had the honor of starting and ending our middle and high school careers with Mr. Hall, whom we are ever so grateful for. I would li also like to show great appreciation to school staff and families for everything you've done for each individual up here. This senior year, we were given a final task in which we were to present a final overview of our growth and level of college readiness to our classmates and teachers. From watching these presentations, I was able to learn the inner struggles and motivations of my classmates. And from each and every one of our presentations, I can say that every single person in this audience here today is our very reason to go out into the world and succeed. And so we are here today through your love and support. 
and to my best friends and classmates. We've had a lot of ups and downs as a class, but we still stuck together as a team. Whenever someone fell off the ladder, we always had someone to catch us before hitting the ground, especially during this entire senior year. As a group, we accomplished all the goals that were set before us. We were able to hold great class discussions and seminars like mature adults, even if that meant having to take a risk and going against the whole class. <coughs> Jay. <laughs> we set new high scores as a class for MCAS. We suffered together taking AP and dual enrollment courses, which taught us things like how to write a two-page essay in a span of 30 minutes. We worked together, showing off the best school spirit that I've ever seen during my years here at Claremont. As we all part ways to, into our next chapters, whether it be that you're going to college or taking a year or two to figure yourself out, or even working to make Flex Gang Entertainment big out in the music scene, <laughs> I wish you all the best of luck. And so I leave you guys with this reminder. The stresses of life will always find a way to get to us and we tend to beat ourselves up over it. Please always find time to breathe and give yourself a pat on the back for how far you've made it because you've done a job well done. Thank you. At this time, I would like to ask my fellow senior officers to join me at the podium. Through the years, this class has worked together to establish a school culture centered on the philosophy of Ubuntu. I am because we are. This year, we have worked to unite a diverse, fun, bright, curious, persistent group of young men and women through several memorable events. We have faced challenges, overcome them, and enjoyed the successes that we earned as a class through our shared efforts. We are proud to be part of this great Claremont Academy class of 2018. In recognition of, a le of the legacy we leave behind and with gratitude to our principal, leader, and friend who started it all with us back in 2012, we would like to give Mr. Hall a small token of appreciation. The graduating class offers you a 2018 Ubuntu yearbook signed by the faculty, staff, and students of Claremont Academy. We hope you will look back fondly on these six years just as we will, friend. Um, at this time, we will have Mayor Petty come to the stage. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Everybody having a good time? Uh, City Council Sri Rivera. School view member Dante Caparetto, Superintendent Benenda, Dr. Mary Mee Montague, and uh, parents, members of the faculty, and the student in the class of 2018. I want to recognize Principal Hall, the administrators, the teachers, and staff who work together every day for the success of this school and these students. Thank you. Tonight's graduation is not just the success of the students on the stage tonight, but the success of every teacher, administrator, mentor, sibling, relative, and parent who have worked to keep these students moving forward. There is so much to be proud of, not just with the class on stage tonight, but across our district. The Worcester Public Schools are currently graduating more students than ever before in our city's history. In the last five years, our graduation rate has increased over 10 points to the highest graduation rate of any urban school district in the state. As our schools have become more diverse over the last 20 years, our graduation rate has also improved. Over the last two years, our students' SATs and PST scores have improved. We have more students taking and passing advanced placement classes than ever. Superintendent Benender knows that as we care for our students in the classroom, so too we need to invest in the whole child. Or accordingly, over the last two years, we are investing in the health of our students 
through increased access to our school-based health centers. Earlier this year, we opened up a new Nelson Place Elementary School on time and under budget. We have two new high schools that will be built in the next five years, and I hope a third will be entering that pipeline. We invest in our facilities because as a city, we need to be offering not just first class instruction, but first class facilities for our students and families. The class of 2018 was the first class to be present at the reopening, reimagining of the Claremont Academy. In 2012, when Claremont reopened, it was your seventh grade year and Principal Hall's first year as principal here. Every senior on this stage has stood before their peers, teachers, and community members in the Gateway Program, providing evidence of their academic mastery and excellence. In accordance with our concept of Claremont Academy, a school not only in the community, but of the community, you have not only achieved the highest MCAS score in Claremont history, but done so while giving back to your neighbors through the Community Service Club, participating in various walks to raise money, and peer mediation with younger students. It is this exchange of ideas, this understanding, that a student is just part of a whole person that needs to be nurtured and grown that makes Claremont Academy so special. I want to close tonight by saying how proud I am of each and every one of you. I am proud that you have made it to this milestone. Whatever you do for the rest of your life, you will carry the education you received and the diploma that you have earned with you every day. You will carry the thumbprint of the Worcester Public Schools everywhere you go. Success, success comes in so many different forms. There is no limit to where or how you will find it. Knowing many Worcester Public School graduates, I can tell you that sometimes it is the most unlikely students who find the most surprising success. I know just as many of your parents and teachers do, that success doesn't come to us all at the same time, in the same way of the same reason. Winston Churchill was born one of the wealthiest families in Great Britain, fought in World War I, saw his country through World War II, and left the post of the Prime Minister when his party was voted out of office. He is someone who knows quite a bit about success and failure. Churchill said, success is not final, failure, failure is not fatal. For those of you who have succeeded in our school, understand that there is more life to come and you will have to work hard to continue that success. For those of you who struggled, know there is more to life <clears throat> to come and more success to be found in different ways in unlikely places. Regardless of how you spent your time in Worcester Public Schools, know that we will always be there cheering you through whatever successes or failures life throws at you, because we know that neither is final. Thank you. For the, congratulations to the class of 2018. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. It's like uh, Councilor Rivera to come up for a minute, and uh, Dante Caporetto, if you want to come over. and. Uh, we used to have a presentation. I've known Mr. Hall merely since I've been mayor. In 2012 was his first year here, my, one of my first graduations. And uh, he's been a gentleman. He's been a great addition to the city of Worcester. We're going to miss him. Uh, I want to wish him well on behalf of the people of Worcester. I just going to, want to present you this. <clears throat> Over the course of the service of the students of the Worcester Public Schools, you have a voice of reason and compassion in the Maine South neighborhood. As a teacher and as an administrator, both at your University Park Campus School and at the Claremont Academy, you have led your students in your school with the highest ideals of educational excellence and kindness. It is my pleasure to present you with the key to the city of Worcester in recognition of 20 years of service. We have another presentation, presentation by Councilor Sri Rivera, who's uh, representing Mary Keith's state representative. Get it out of the way here.
So State Representative Mary Keefe couldn't be here tonight. She had a, a situation that she was planning on coming and couldn't at the last minute. But um, it is definitely my honor and privilege. Um, I've known Mr. Hall for many years and he's been the principal to my children. And um, I'm proud to call him friends. So it's an honor to present to you today. And so on behalf of State Representative Mary Keefe, says the House of Representatives citation, be it hereby known to all that the Massachusetts House of Representatives offers its sincerest congratulations to Principal Ricky Hall in recognition of your years of steadfast commitment to the students of Claremont Academy and the City of Worcester. The entire membership extends its very best wishes and expresses the hope for the good fortune and continued success in all you do in your endeavors given on this day at the House of State of Boston, Massachusetts, signed by the Speaker of the House, Robert DeLeo, and offered by State Representative Mary Keeve. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And now back to the real show, our kids. I want to uh, next introduce for his speech, a member from the school committee, Dante Camparetto. How are y'all? Thank you, and thank you, Claremont community. Um, congratulations, everyone, uh, graduating today. I'm really proud of you. And. Uh, I regret to inform you that I am your commencement speaker for the evening. Um, it is funny that I am doing this, considering that I myself am a high school dropout, and not only is this the first commencement address that I've ever done, but this is most likely the first one I've ever heard, too. So in Googling up commencement speeches and, look, and looking for one to plagiarize tonight, <laughs> I found out that commencement speeches are typically long, boring, and usually have some life advice tucked in there too. And I really laughed at this thought of me providing you guys with life advice. Um, but seriously though, there is some wisdom that I'd like to impart to you, and it is about uh, happiness. Uh, you may get the impression from this society we are living in that the key to happiness is by doing better than the next person and making as much money as possible. And while being financially secure is important, I would argue that one of the keys to happiness is not about what you will do for yourself, but what you will do for others. I am just 35 years old, but have had many different experiences in life. Homelessness, drug addiction, many different jobs, some low paying, some high. Consistently, the best times in my life are when I'm giving back to my community, when I'm helping others, and when I'm surrounded by people. And most of these times went, are, were when, when I was pretty destitute. Like when I was starting an organization that was working with homeless or at-risk youth or when I was working as a community organizer, helping people in tenuous housing situations, helping improve their, their schools or their neighborhoods. The work of organizing does not pay well, but knowing that I was helping people was both fulfilling and empowering. More than anything, this work has given me purpose in life. It has, made, it has made me want to give up partying, want to better myself by going back to school, going through college, and onto my master's degree. And it is why I've helped start businesses, nonprofits, and run for public office. And my, ex my experiences are backed by research, believe it or not. The studies show that by giving back to the community, helping others, will also make you happy in the end. So I'm not here to tell you all that you need to start living a life of poverty, become an organizer, or start a soup kitchen. But I am saying that regardless of what kind of career you want to go into or whatever direction you want to go in life, just remember to set aside time to help out and build community. Um, what does this mean? It means getting to know your neighbors by throwing a block party, seeking an understanding of each other's cultures and learning from new and uncomfortable angles. Listen to music you don't understand and dance to it. Eat adventurously. It means recycling money back into the local economy by shopping at locally owned businesses. It means patronizing and contributing to your local library, supporting your neighborhood schools, and hanging out with friends at your local park. It means picking up litter. And if something isn't right in your neighborhood, get some neighbors together to come up with a solution. 
It means asking tough questions of us, us elected officials, holding us accountable, and if things don't change, supporting our challengers. It means knowing that no one is silent, though many are not heard, and working to change this. Thank you. Um, real quick, I also wanted to take some time to thank Ricky Hall for his service here at Claremont. Uh, though I only just met Ricky recently, the testament to his work is loud and clear by talking to anyone who works in the community and hearing all the great things that are said about him. This school would not be where it is today without his tireless work bringing the community together to improve this school. I hope you and I have careers as consequential as his. Thank you and congratulations class of 2018. I'd like now to welcome to the podium for her remarks, the superintendent of the Worcester Public Schools, Mrs. Maureen Benendo. Good evening, everyone. I'm honored to speak to invited guests, faculty of Claremont Academy, parents, and students of the class of 2018. First, I want to thank the faculty of Claremont Academy for your dedication to our graduates. It is your commitment to excellence and the personal relationships you have provided to these students that have prepared these students for their future success. Academic success is achieved when young students have significant relationships with caring adults and are involved in academic excellence, community service, and extracurricular activities. Students at Claremont experience the power of community collaboration. They learn to be advocates, not only for themselves, but for their families and their neighbors. Students here have learned it is okay to be smart, to be different, to stand up for what is right, to make good choices. Good choices are decisions that keep you heading in the direction that you want to go. We all know that life is made up of an infinite amount of choices. Most decisions, such as what you'd like to eat for lunch today, are small and only slightly impactful. But it's the big decisions, the ones that can change your life forever, that are tough to make. Claremont has prepared you for these difficult decisions. The importance of making good decisions is evident in one of my favorite stories, Alice in Wonderland. Who in the world am I? Ah, that's the puzzle. Claremont helped the class of 2018 figure out the puzzle. And another quote from the book, it's no use going back to yesterday because I was a different person then. Class of 2018, you move with confidence forward. Thinking back on my own experiences, and if all of you think back to your experience, you remember that one person who helped you along the way. That person could be someone in your family, could be a teacher, a principal, community member, someone you learn to trust. At Claremont, it is a faculty led by Principal Mr. Hall. Your graduation is extra special, as it is the last graduation that Mr. Hall will be conducting as Principal of Claremont Academy. Mr. Hall and I have been colleagues in what we call urban warriors in the Maine South area for many years. I want to thank him for his dedication and passion to the students and families of Claremont Academy. I'd like to share a song we're going to dedicate from the Worcester Public Schools that was from a movie many years ago, one of my favorites, today to Mr. Hall. <laughs>
have the best of luck to Mr. Hall and congratulations to the class of 2018. I want you to know the students uh, had me dance to that at prom and I will not do that to you tonight at all. So. I would like to uh, offer to the stage now for a presentation of awards uh, our guidance counselors, Mrs. Jessica Coleman and Mrs. Mel Melissa Angela Lilo, to the stage, please. Good evening. It is our pleasure to have the opportunity to recognize Claremont Academy's recipients of the John and Abigail Adams Scholarships. Based on their high academic achievement on the MCAS exams, they have qualified to receive a four-year John and Abigail Adams Scholarship at a participating Massachusetts public institution of higher education. Please stand to be recognized, and I'll ask it that you hold all applause until the end. <clears throat> Aquia Imponsa. Or not. Yao Imponsa. Kayla Blanco. Malena Cruz. Miranda Matias. Cindy No. Anne Nguyen. Stephen Robles. And Oscar Rosario. Congratulations. It is also my pleasure to introduce Ms. Deirdre Carlson, who will be presenting Claremont Academy's Academic Achievement Awards. Good evening. We are very proud of all of our students, but some have excelled in certain areas. First award goes for excellence in English, Oscar Rosario. Excellence in ESL, Angie Velasquez. <laughs> For excellence in math, Stephen Robles. Excellence in Science, An Nguyen. For Excellence in Arts, Kayla Blanco. For excellence in Spanish, Stephen Robles. <laughs> For excellence in ASL, Miranda Mateus. For excellence in social studies, Jennifer Bello. <laughs> the Academic Achievement Award goes to Jay Hakazimana. The 
School Spirit Award goes to none other than Michelle Vath. And the Good Citizen Award goes to Mario Romero. Now, Mr. Hall will present his principal awards. So there are two awards that I get to give. The first one is called the Ubuntu Award. It is given to a graduating senior from Claremont Academy. As many of you know, Claremont has embraced the African philosophy of Ubuntu. Roughly translated, it means, I am only because we are. This idea embraces the concept that our community exists only because of all of us are here together. It is the recognition that we must support and care for one another and put the needs of the community and the greater good ahead of our own desires of getting ahead. Each of us has our own actions collectively impact the community. This year's recipient embodies the essence of Ubuntu, thinking of others, embracing the idea of community and trying to improve it, being a role model for others, and seeking to improve the lot of other people in her life. She has helped diffuse potential conflict, She's even done middle school lunch duty, better than many of the teachers. She's funny, caring, and she makes people around her better. I am happy to announce that 2018 Ubuntu Award goes to Esmarlin Paredes. I am also honored to give a principal's award every year and with this group of students, it is not an easy choice, especially when I think about how much each of them has grown. But I wanted to give this award to a person who embodies the spirit of Claremont Academy. This year's recipient has, been, has seen amazing growth as a person and as a student. In fact, when I first met him, I wasn't even sure I wanted him at Claremont. He had a sordid and dangerous life. At Claremont, he reinvented himself to the world. He became a student, a leader, and an affable, considerate young man ready for the world ahead of him. This year's Principal's Award goes to Laurent J. Hakazimano. I'm now pleased to present to you a yearly tradition at Claremont. As many of you know, Mrs. Lamar is a fabulous American Sign Language teacher and she prepares a presentation every year at graduation. So I'm gonna ask the seniors of the ASL program to come on down to perform their song this year, Rise Up by Andrea Day, which is dedicated to those who were lost in the Mary Stone High School tragedy in Parkland, Florida.
very much. The honor of giving the last address in the commencement exercise goes to a very hard-working young lady who is the class valedictorian, An Nguyen. friends and family, teachers, students, and you guys, the class of 2018. It is a great honor to be standing before you all on this special occasion. On behalf of the class of 2018, I would like to say thank you to Mr. Hall, the teachers and staff at Claremont Academy, and our family and friends who have supported us from the very beginning. Thank you for teaching us all that we know. Without you, we wouldn't be where we are today. Fellow classmates, please give them a round of applause. It feels like just yesterday when we first entered high school, having no idea what we were in for. Even though we do not all share the same struggles in school and we have not went through the same struggles in life, there is one thing that we do have in common. Each and every one of us have successfully pushed through our own challenges. So I would like to praise you guys for not letting any hurdles stop you from being here. I know that we all have what it takes to do well. We have proven that by walking across this very stage today. My fellow classmates, as we live here tonight and embark onto the next chapter of our lives, I hope you never forget who you are and where you come from. I am because we are. I can't wait to see you guys again in the future and reminisce about our high school experience. Without the friendship I have made and the bonds I have been with you guys, this past four years wouldn't have been the same. Now that we are done with high school, it's time to look ahead into our future. I sincerely wish you guys the best on your new adventures and journey. What's left now to say is congratulations to the class of 2018 and to everyone who has helped us get here. Thank you.
I'd like to take a moment also to recognize these amazing educators located down here in the front of the auditorium. I consider it a true honor to have led such a prestigious group of dedicated educators. Their unwavering dedication and devotion, the inspirational belief in the abilities of every student are the things that heroes are made of. Please join me in giving this remarkable group of educators a round of applause. I'd also like to especially thank Ms. Amber Pouliot and Ms. Adelina Zayemi, who have been unbelievable senior class advisors. Even though they earned their hashtag, she's so annoying title, their unbelievable work ethic has led this class to amazing things. So thank you, Adelina and Amber. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment everyone has been waiting for, I'd like to ask Mr. Looney to come to the dais for the presentation of the diplomas. Could the first row please rise? Perla Garcia. Puspa Canal. Benjeliz Gutierrez. Ingrid Rivera. Ashley Torres. Michelle Veth. An Nguyen. Stephen Robles Hoagland. Byron Bonilla Quintanilla. Elvis Osorio. Shamiki St. Helen. Eric Gonan. Could the second row please rise? Brenda Gutierrez. Nadeshka Estefez. Alize Diaz. Keshari Emil. Caddy Ramirez. Cindy No. Phoebe Echegari. Bob Nua. Emerson Portillo. Gabriel Rodriguez. Abdil Santiago. Dejan Ford. Emilio Reyes. Mikhail Rivera.
Could the third row please rise? Annie Lee. Kayla Blanco. Griselda Diaz. Carmen Zaniga. Fantasia Rodriguez. Tani Lopez. Is Marlon Paredes. Marcel Kona. Carlos Hernandez Benitez. Dat Luong. Melsar Mengandi. Mario Romero. Mauricio Benitez Hernandez. David No. Could the fourth row please rise? Meladia Cruz. Jocelyn Aragon Valle. Jennifer Tran. Taisha Santiago. Angie Velasquez. Kenny Morales Hernandez. Daniela Mendez. Laurent Hakizamana. <laughs> Louis Menjavar. <laughs> Tong Nguyen. <laughs> Ronald Vasquez. Alec Rosario. Christopher Knight. Oscar Rosario. Could the fifth row please rise? <laughs> Princess Nua. <laughs> Miranda Matias. <laughs> Sharon Castro Jimenez. Aku Brown. <laughs> Salinas Baez. Aquia Ampansa. <laughs> C. 
Samantha Rodriguez. Yao Impanza. Rudy Martinez. Fabian Ojeda. Richard Gomez. Delano Kulik Thomas. Angel Rodriguez. Stiwa Acosta Polanco. Could the sixth row please rise? Sandra Hernandez Pena. Cecilia Miche. Juliana Maldonado. Anisha Kochalari. Amaya Ford. Eddie Anise Beltre. Jennifer Bello. Could the graduates please rise? It's my honor to present to you the class of 2018.